Hello and welcome to my channel, I am Bearded Dev and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how we can search the text within a stored procedure. Now because the database isn't really self-documenting it can be difficult when there are hundreds of tables and hundreds of stored procedures or different objects involved to understand what's actually performing operations on those tables. Or simply we may want to search stored procedures just to identify which stored procedures are performing inserts, updates, deletes. Now we're going to be taking a look at the employees data within AdventureWorks 2019 within this video. And one approach, say if we wanted to look at a table, I've opened up Object Explorer here. So if I wanted to have a look at say the Human Resources Employee table. I can simply right click on that and have a look at view dependencies. Now if I click this now it's going to start loading up objects that depend on employee table and we can see here there's a couple of different stored procedures in the list as well as views and other tables or objects uh, and then we can switch that round on objects on which employee depends. Now there's a there's a couple of problems with with this approach. The first really I'm not convinced this is accurate having worked with this over time for a number of years. I have seen objects that are missing from this list. So I never take this as gospel. The other is um it does include all objects, there's no way to apply any filters to this list, it's just simply a list of objects. So what's a, what's a better solution? How can we look at any stored procedure that perhaps references this table in any way? Now within SQL Server, Azure SQL Database and Synapse Analytics, there is a catalogue view, a system catalogue view called Sys dot sql underscore modules so let's take a look at that let's just do a select all from that view to start with so select all from sys sql underscore modules let's run that query have a look at the, what the results look like now this will return a row for each module defined and what do I mean by module? So a module could be store procedure, trigger, view, function, anything we've defined within the database. And if we take a look at this definition column here, so this is the textual representation of that object, which is great for us because it means we can actually search the text of objects to identify anything that's referencing a table or performing certain operations. So how I can search this is simply just having a look at where that definition is like employee. And we are searching quite large text strings here so it's not going to be amazing in terms of performance especially if you've got a massive amount of objects in your database. So if I have a look at that I can see all of these objects that reference employee in some way. So we can see here we've got a trigger, we've got some views, we've got a function here and we've got some stored procedures as well. Now how could I filter that to have a look at different types of objects? Now we can, we can tell from the definitions that's a trigger, these are views, the bottom are our stored procedures. But what we actually want to do is something that identifies them in some way. So we're going to introduce another catalog system view which is sister objects which will store all of the objects in the database. I'm going to join that to SQL modules on object ID. So each object within the database has an object ID similar to how we'd identify everything with keys object ID is a unique identifier and I'm just putting object ID within uh, square brackets as it's a, a recognized keyword 
So if I go ahead and perform that join, we'll notice here we've now got the name of the object, so that's a bit better to what we had before rather than just the object ID. But we also have this type column, so we can see triggers are represented by TR, views by V. Uh, functions have a few different, so table valued functions, TF, uh, inline functions, IF, so on. And then stored procedures simply as a P. So if I just wanted to look at stored procedures, I can simply filter on that type column. And again, type is a keyword. So type equals P. Execute that and Again, we've now got it filtered to store procedures, exactly what we were looking for. And we could be specific about this, so you have to be quite clever. Remember, this is searching text. So we could add in another search on our definition, like insert. And if we run that query, and this is what I mean about being clever. So the, the criteria we've got here, we're looking for a SQL module that contains employee and insert. That doesn't necessarily mean it's inserting into the employee table. It just contains those words. We'd have to be quite clever about what text we're actually writing and searching for especially if we've got hundreds of stored procedures uh, or other objects in this database. We don't have hundreds of objects, so it's quite easy to narrow it down. But that is a good way to search the definition of a stored procedure. And like I say, it's not specific to a stored procedure. If we change that type to view, and of course views are not going to contain insert unless we've got a column called insert. And then we can see all the views that actually reference that table as well. Really hope you have enjoyed that video. If you have, please do hit the like button and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It does really help me to grow the channel. If you're not a subscriber already, I produce content on data engineering, data analysis, uh, a lot of videos on SQL as well. So if you do enjoy that, I've got any interest in those areas, subscribe to the channel, check out the other content. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next one.